First, though, it was a viral campaign that shocked the finance industry in 2021. Shares of GameStop, the declining video game retailer, suddenly shot up by more than 500%. Social media users rejoiced as they coordinated to buy up the stock, and now it's happening again. GameStop shares have doubled in value since last Friday, and internet users are piling on once again. To help explain the meme stock craze, we're joined by Ramona Pringle. She's a technology journalist and associate professor at Toronto Metropolitan University. Uh, We have reached her in Toronto. Hi, Ramona. Hi. So if this is a repeat of 2021, what exactly (laughs) happened with GameStop in 2021? Well, so as you were saying, you know, GameStop... Uh, it had sort of gone the way of blockbuster over the years, right? Becoming increasingly irrelevant. And so you can imagine just this absolute shock on Wall Street back in 2021 when their stock soared not just a little bit, but at its height, more than a thousand percent over a matter of weeks. And it swung around for a little while. It did eventually fizzle out. But that the real story here is that the explosive growth that we saw had nothing to do with how successful the company was. It wasn't any new, you know, throngs of customers going in, money it was generating. Rather, the story here is about the, you know, the power of the internet and power to the people. And in this case, it's putting that power in the hands of non-professionals, non-professional investors, not Bay Street or Wall Street, um, but rather just, you know, people who are in Reddit forums with apps on their phones. And that's what brought about this um, burst of momentum was hundreds of thousands of regular people who suddenly started investing in GameStop stocks and drove its price to to a level that just shocked everybody, including, of course, professional investors. Mm -hmm. So then this week, um, how would you explain what's happening? Was it the same thing that happened last time? It's a bit of deja vu, um, though I would say it's happening at a condensed pace. Uh, So what happened is that Monday morning, the... GameStop stocks surged again. And this time it was, you know, over 100% Monday morning. And there was so much mania on Monday that they actually had to halt trading multiple times. But this time about, this flurry came about because there's this... um, internet influencer named the Roaring Kitty. And he is an American investor, a YouTube personality, and he's largely responsible for what we saw happen back in 2021 with GameStop. And he's someone who had said, you know, he had taken $53,000 and turned it into, I think he said, 48 million. And you can see how someone like that becomes an internet Pied Piper. Everyone wants to follow that kind of, uh, you know, intel or what they might see as someone Mm -hmm. with some kind of you know genius to lead the the crowds but then he largely disappeared uh And then Sunday, out of nowhere, he posted a meme to X. And what it was was a picture that showed a person playing a video game. And it was kind of an action shot as you see someone sit up and from this lounging position to upright and alert. So, of course, all of a sudden there's speculation. What does this mean? Why is he back? And, you know, people took it as a signal. People started buying up that same stock again. And all of a sudden you had these screenshots of people showing how much they were profiting by trading GameStop uh, stocks. But when I say it's been condensed, you know, the excitement died down more quickly. We'll see what the next few weeks bring. But even by Wednesday, after a couple of days, things had started to fall, um, had started to fall already. I mean, what, what's your sense of, of why folks are so attracted to meme stocks? You know, I think there's a couple of factors, which I think just seems so human. <laughs> One yeah. is we can't ignore the fact that people love the idea of getting rich quick. You know, and you hear this story of someone mm-hmm. turning thousands into millions and mm-hmm. it, it, it people's ears perk up. And in this case also, it's because that flurry of activity originated from Reddit, from forums, not from, you know, glass towers. And it feels like you're in on information, right? Insider information feels like it's what um, Wall Street has. It doesn't feel like it's what just, you know, internet users have. And so it is this story of an underdog, of average people, novice investors taking on the hedge funds and, you know, um, actually having an impact. It's a collective power move. And it is sort of like punking the system or pranking a system that I think is often seen as unfair or rigged. And that this really, that was what we saw in 2021, that there was this kind of narrative of, of it being like a Robin Hood, that 
if there were victims there, there was a handful of hedge funds that had to shut down because of their heavy losses. So I think that's a big piece of it. Part of it is maybe I can make some money, but part of it also is what the internet loves is showing the system that they can't be too comfortable, right? That the the collective internet powers can shake things up. Try not to be allured, I guess, is, <laughs> is, is the, uh, the, uh, the advice there. Ramona, it's always yeah. good to chat with you. Thanks very much and take good care. Thank you. It's nice speaking with you too. Bye.